Oh, there you are. Can you give me a hand with this car seat? I've got tons of stuff and I don't want to wake him. Oh, an okay phone this morning. They want to do a five-page spread in him now. But I told them they're going to have to wait till after the christening. I don't know, I just don't think he's ready for it yet. He was threatening me, Jason. What with? His belly? Can't do shit now. Just forget it. Oh, thanks for your support. Are you really interested when he physically attacks me then? I'm not saying that. He was out of order. If he comes round again, get on the blow at me. But, you know, I've got work with him, Tan. Why well, so just give it a rest? I've got enough to worry about about getting a strop with Frank. He didn't see his eyes. Oh, are you trying to give me a brain tumour? Because it was you that said to me, play it cool, Jason. I don't mind Frank up. I was frightened, Jace. God, what is wrong with you? It's Carl, isn't it? It's the training, it's just Paddy this and Paddy that and. What are you feeling left out or something? Yeah, yeah, maybe. They've got three generations of Pascos at Carl's house. It's a proper family, that. Never even had one. Hey. You had great parents. They weren't even my parents, were they? <laughs> they were tapped enough to adopt you. Make some bloody saints in my book. Just wonder, you know, what one of our own would look like. Yeah, well, let's use our imaginations, cos I don't think that's a great reason for having a kid. Do you ever get like... You know, like pangs. You know, like, um, what birds get, you know, broody. Darling, there's two kids in this house already. Another I don't need. Listen, why not I book the table for dinner at the Ivy? Mm. Cheer us both up. Mm. Mm. See? We could just up and go out when we fancy it if we had a sprog, could we? Yeah, it's me. We need to talk. Do you mean no? I could come round if that's what you want. Well? Don't piss about. He's mine, isn't he? Of course not. I know what it looks like, but I got rid of it, like I told you. Really? Do you think I'm thick? Your paps were leaking milk, Jax. Now, I don't need a degree in biology to work that out, you know what I mean? It's not... It can happen. You disappear for months to Florida and now Chardonnay's poncing about in a pair of size 8 jeans. I will take a blood test if I have to, Jackie. In fact, I insist. Look, what was I supposed to do, Jase? You wanted me to kill him. And then Chardonnay found out she couldn't get pregnant. And it seemed like the perfect solution. That she took mine. I never told him who the dad was. No one was ever supposed to find out. Jesus. Jesus. Look, you didn't want to know, Jason. And now it's not your problem. Not my problem? Jackie, I've got a son. I'm supposed to be a son and godfather. I don't think I can just let go of that. Well, you better. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Wait, come here, wait! You've gone behind my back. You lay this bombshell on me and I'm supposed to just piss off. He's my flesh and blood. He's a turner. Everything's different now. Just go and set up over there on the patio. Cheers. Yeah, OK. All right, Jax. Did you have a nice lie-in? Listen, why don't you go and stick some lippy on? Maybe we can get you in the back of some of the shots. You told me you said no. Yeah, they up their offer. Now they want to do the christening as well, so this way we get two bites of the cherry. It's not a bleating Gucci bag, Chardonnay. You can't just use him like some fashion accessory. He's fine. I'll go into trust for him. And anyway, I need the publicity for my show. I'm meeting the producer after this, then me and Paddy having lunch with Tanya. He's going to have a day out with his mummy. Come on, babe. Come on, mummy.
happen now? The pole! Okay, take penny for a second. Came as quick as I could. Mr. Pasco, D.I. Greg. You found this ID on the body. Do you know Dr. Sheena Hamilton? No, no, I don't think so. Have a look. It might jog your memory. She does look a bit familiar, Carl. No, no, I don't. I think I've seen her down the players' lounge. Well, possibly. Oh, this is terrible. One of my colleagues has been round to her flat. It seems she had a lot of pictures of Mr. Pasco there. What a fan of yours, sir. Oh, poor girl. What was she doing on Paul? That's what we're trying to find out. If I could have a word with you alone, sir. Yeah, of course. Perhaps you could come down the station tomorrow to clear up a couple of loose ends for me? After the match, of course. Wouldn't want to get in the way of Sparks wiping the floor with United, eh? Yeah, fine. Much appreciated. <laughs> 